it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another Christmas special. Uh, so today we're going to be working on some more plowing, of course, and snow blowing. Just checking over the GACB snowblower here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hook the Chevy up to the uh, PJ here. Uh, and I just, I fixed this truck, fixed the rigid body on the Chevy logo. It was the one in the back here. Uh, and then <clears throat> just had to drive around make sure that it was fixed and it is so that is good so let's get this trailer out we're just gonna pull it over here in the grass and then we will go ahead and go in and fire up the John Deere so that way we can blow off blow out the farmyard here A little cold. Come on. There we go. Now she's fired up and ready to go. We'll get hooked onto this and get it uh, moved out of the shop here. And then we'll go ahead and fire up the JCB. And then we can blow out all these shops uh, once we're done clearing off this main driveway here. So we'll go ahead and hop in here and try and fire this thing up. There we go. That thing is ready to rock. So let's go ahead and go up here and get some snow blown. Come on. Cooperate with me. There we go. So as you can tell, it has the rake sound to it, which is rather annoying, but anyhow, I should go in and change it, copy the ones from uh, like the JCB skit, uh, snowblower or something. See, we have a few of these pressure washers here. Oh, wrong gear. So the main parts we'll do with uh, the big tractor here, and then the small areas, you know, like in the buildings and stuff like that. And getting closer, that we'll do with the. Um, with the JCB. For whatever reason, the snow goes way out to the side. Which I find to be quite annoying. And would help if I turn in the right direction as well. So I think one more pass down that way and uh, we'll have the main part cleared off. At least in this direction.
try and make this even if I can. Um, let's see, do I want to go one more? Nah, I think we're good that way. I don't have to clear out the entire yard either. Just a good portion of it. It's so like here where we're getting close to the garage. That's where we'll want to go with the JCB and get in a little closer. Our cow cows are nice and cozy inside the barn so we don't have to worry about cleaning the barnyard or anything like that. And this is just being plain horrible. Hmm. Well, that's really annoying. We'll have to get that strip with the uh, JCB, I think. Since we can blow it out a ways farther than this thing. Kind of wish that the JCB snowblower was like for a tractor. You know, bigger and for a tractor because it would work like perfect for a tractor. But unfortunately, it is not. Anyway, that is all that we need to do with this guy for right now. So let's find a place out of the way to put him. I think we'll get him up here by the pickup, I think. We'll shut him off for now. Now we'll run over here and get the JCB. Now we'll go on in here and get our snowblower. Alright, so let's start off by cleaning up these pieces that the snow big snowblower has missed. We're just going to blow this out a ways if we can. And let's see here. I want to go make sure that this is... Get it so that way I can just go all the way down. There we go. So we got that piece. Get this one. And then these strips here. Blow it out that way. Not far enough. There we go, now we're far enough over. that up. Oh, I guess it did. Okay. Are we going to actually fit in there? Ah, close enough, I guess. We'll go with it. Hmm. 
And we'll just go out here and pick this up. Just like that. So let's see how big of a spot that cleared out. Anything really? Mm, kinda. Let's just blow this straight down. There we go. Okay, that's good there. Now let's see, what buildings in the yard do we need to clean? Let's see, those are good. where I was trying to go. Okay, so now we'll just clean out in front of the barn here so that way we can get in. Whoops. Yeah, I'm definitely in the barn. Good enough. So we'll just do a couple of passes here. I suppose we should get a little screenshot here. Okay, so now we'll just clean out in front of the shops here. And in the shops. Mainly this one here. And we'll just clean out what we can in the other ones. Go. So that is good for that one. Ooh. I missed a few spots here. Quite a few spots, actually. What on earth? Must be trying to pick up way too much snow or something. I are driving too fast. That's probably it. Auto save. Oops, wrong button. Wrong direction, I guess I should say. We'll just clear a couple of passes in here. So 
just like that. And we'll move on to the next one. I know I'm not doing this in the most realistic way, but you can only do so much with farm sim here. And it's physics. It's wonderful, wonderful physics. Okay, I guess we can get uh, that close to there. Be cool if there was a bucket that accepted straw. You could just take that, change its texture, and to a white just like this, and then. It's hard to see. Ah! It's hard driving these things with a uh, steering wheel. These things turn so sharp. Probably why they don't have steering wheels in them. Okay, so there's that part of it cleaned.
Okay. That is it. And we'll clean out that area when we come back to park it. So, off to Grandma's we go. Um, and I think... Do I have a car trailer? And we could just take only the... Only the skid steer over there. Yep, we do. Up. Oh, I'm used to 13 again. Okay, so we can take this guy. Back him into the shed again. No, we can't. We need to move this guy first. Now we can put it in there. No, we still can't. We gotta put this away. This time we'll just leave the snow blower hooked up here. Okay, now we can back this thing in there. Because we won't need this until we haul the tractor as well, so we won't be hauling the tractor for a little bit. Now we're going to have to drive through some snow. Whoa, and hit our trailer. Oh, maybe not. No trailer lights. Okay. Better hope the DOT don't catch us. We won't be on the main roads very much anyways, so we should be alright. So we will just back up and then get into position to load this thing and roll out. Okay. Now we will go clean out Grandma's place. I think is what it's referred to as. Wait, this is a tight fit. I don't think the snowblower is going to sit, is it? Nope, the snowblower is going to have to sit up a little ways. We'll get it as close as we possibly can. It's right about there. Actually, we can leave that round. Okie doke. We're loaded up. Let's get that up, that locked. And we're out of here. what that noise is. Sounds like it's coming from skid steer or something. That or it's the pickup. One of the two. Not sure which it is. But it's annoying regardless. So here are our nice clean well plowed roads from our last uh, episode. So we do actually need the tractor but we can drive it over here. To plow out plow out a path on the road down to grandma's anyway we'll pull right up here and we can turn that off hop in this guy get this thing off the trailer Okay, now let's figure out where we gotta go. Right here, it looks like. Yep, 
And we better not blow the snow on the grandma's car. Otherwise, she'll wring our neck. I still think it's funny that that didn't get covered. Oh, that's right, these pallets move. out the tree that would not be good so we need to clear a path to be able to get over to the barn and we're skipping. That's enjoyable. Okay, really? Now it's starting to get annoying. It's not liking something either. My, either I got this thing sitting weird or I'm driving too fast. I think we might actually end up using the uh, <clears throat> the payloader for more of this than the tractor just because the tractor we you know it's kind of a pain in the butt to use really but the payloader on the other hand would be easier faster and not as annoying to use so we got grandma's cleared out so it's off to town to go do some cleaning.
Yeah, I think we'll just use the payloader for a lot more of it. Whoa! Brakes! Brakes! I need brakes! <laughs> A couple of the sleighs again. This thing is locked, right? Yeah. Hmm. Just kind of slid a little bit, I guess. So we better start off with the old diner here. Let's see, where do we start? Okay, so if we line up with the power line. And work our way over. We should be all set. Ah, crap. Better clean that off. That was my bad. I was not thinking of where this was going. this even here snowblower cooperate would ya come on don't be dumb Perfect. So now if we do one more pass on this side, and then we just go over to the building, and then along there a little bit, we'll be all set. Come on. Well, I would rather not sit and listen to the tick of the blinkers, so... It's annoying when uh, when the indexes on something always want to go an opposite way. Like right now they're way off, and then when you go another direction, then they're like, just perfect. It's always annoying. Always delightful. Not really.
Whoa, wrong direction. Still trying to get used to this snowblower, because, or the, mainly the joystick functions for it, uh, because of, you know, you think things should be one direction and they're the other. Oh, I was like, what? Where'd the building go? I forgot that a lot of these buildings, when you are looking through them, they just disappear. Pretty much all the buildings, actually. Hopefully the snow is uh, going above that car, not on it. Okay, so just a couple more passes here, and this will be all good to go. We can move across the road over there to Fertilizer Place. In fact, that's actually good enough right there, so... So let's run across the road here. Start off by figuring out where exactly the entrances are. So the other one is so basically okay. If we line up right here, we're good. So in this one, it's just going to need enough space to get into this building. Evidently, it's just like in a certain direction this thing doesn't plow right or something. Or blow right, whatever. It doesn't work right. I guess we'll just kind of take her a little slower. Alright, that's good there.
Okay. So they'll have to go in and out in the same way because we're only clearing the one path in here. And here it goes again. Guess I'll just try driving a lot, a lot slower. See, like now, it's not even picking up all the way over like it should. <clears throat> it's always funny the way that stuff works in that, in that way. Let's just see. Okay. Okay, now that we're going this direction, we can go. We're going east and west now, so we can go as fast as we want. It's always weird. Mods always work in funny ways, that's for sure. Okay, now we'll go clear out the other side. Looks about even. Doesn't have to be perfect. this just a little bit because then it's not blowing directly in front of us it's still blowing you know ahead enough that it's not blowing into the building onto the stuff on areas that we've cleared already Okay, so one more pass after this, and then we can go in between. Said so they got a little area to go around in to get out. I think we're actually going to blow this out a little farther. Right about there.
Alright. And that's this place done. So next is the dealership. I would think. Yeah, it looks like the dealership. See, I don't think that we need to clear any of the houses. Yeah, the houses are good. Nobody lives in that place anymore, so that one's fine. So we're just going to go actually... We're going to take this over here, and we're just going to get the payloader. So we can just... Whoa. We can just shut the skid steer off here. We'll go ahead and jump in the payloader. The four-wheeler is still sitting there. Haven't moved that. Get our beacons on. Let's figure out what's what here. Not backwards. Forwards. Forward march. Dealership doesn't do a whole lot in the winter time, so we don't have to do a whole lot of snow clearing. Whoa. The boss. Never actually seen a box plow like this. I've only seen, you know, the V plow. It's the only boss plow I've ever seen in real life. Definitely must be a handy tool, though. It must be a pain to hook up. right about there should do it If I did a lot of this snow plowing stuff, I'd try and make a tool similar to what uh, the city here uses. It's a blade that you can, you know, you can go side to side with, and then it's got a arm on the side for 
you know, when you go to, um, when you go, like, over a driveway or something, then they can, uh, they can avoid, you know, filling the driveway with snow. I mean, they'll still have a little bit of snow, but it also depends on how thick the snow is. Like, if there's a lot of snow and then the blade's, you know, filling up with it fast, then it kind of has, you know, it's kind of help, hopeless, helpless, ugh, if I can find the right word. It's kind of, you know, doesn't do a whole lot for it, but when it's, uh, when it's just light snow, then they can, then they can stop it from going on the driveways. You know, it, it will still go on, of course, but it's just not as much as it would be if they weren't doing anything. You know, if they didn't do that. I do kind of wish the old dealership was still on here, the one that was actually on Salem, South Dakota. That was a pretty cool dealership. How are we doing for time? Five minutes left? Okay, let's try and get the elevator in town cleared out. So into town we go. I think we can go down this street, can't we? Um, yes, we can. So like I said, we're not going to clear every single place out, but... Um, we are going to clean out, you know, quite a few places. Mostly just like the elevators and stuff. Elevators and main roads and farms. This Most of the town stuff can be done by the actual town. It's not our problem. I was kind of making a mess on the road there. So we'll clear out that elevator in the next video. We'll try and get this one cleaned out in this video yet. That'd be pretty cool if that was an actual building. It was an actual 3D building and had all the textures and like the doors worked and all that. That'd be pretty cool. There will be one way in and out of this elevator. That's just right there. Do I not have this front one on? No, I did not. Oh well. So like this road here, this is a main road. So this would be one that we'd clear out.
I mean, even after I finished doing the video series or the Christmas series on this map, uh, the Christmas special series of plowing and stuff, I think that'll probably still like be plowing on here, um, just like for my own personal enjoyment. Really, I won't be doing videos of it and whatnot, but I will still be plowing it. I think. Okay, so now we gotta go on the ends of this place. Come on, come on, stuck. Okay, now on the other end. And then uh, this place is done. Just kind of clear, clear a way out of here. Oh, we're getting way too far over here now. We're kind of missing the. Missing the yellow line. Yeah, these roads suck. They're such a pain. They're horrible to plow. It's off the ground. Any higher and I start missing it like that. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of the Christmas special. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit smack that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs my upload schedule, as well as links to my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that we're taking a look at. Have a very Merry Christmas, you guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.